Well, good morning. Let's pray. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 147. Alleluia. It is good to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of stars and calls them by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food, the young ravens when they cry. He takes no ple pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders, and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. We praise the Lord because he gathers together the outcasts, those who were cast out, those who were far away. The Lord gathers them together and brings them into the holy city. We thank God when we were outcasts, when we were far away, the Lord gathered us up and brought us to himself. Joshua chapter 6 verses 1 to 20. Now Jericho was shut up inside and out because of the Israelites. No one came out and no one went in. The Lord said to Joshua, See, I have handed over Jericho to you, along with its king and its soldiers. You shall march around the city, all the warriors circling, circling the city once. You shall do this for sixty days, with seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the, heart, the ark. On the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, the priests blowing the trumpets, when they shall make a long breath with the ram's horn. As soon as you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down, and all the people shall charge straight ahead. So Joshua, son of Nun, summoned the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and have seven priests carry seven trumpets of ram's horns in front of the Ark of the Lord. To the people he said, Go forward and march around the city. Have armed men pass before the Ark of the Lord. As Joshua commanded the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Lord went forward, blowing the trumpets with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord following them. And the armed men went before the priests who blew the trumpets. The rear guard came after the ark, while the trumpets blew continually. All the people gave to, all, to the people Joshua gave this command, you shall not shout or let your voice be heard. You shall utter nor shall you utter a word until the day I tell you to shout. Then you shall shout. So the ark of the Lord went around the city, circling it once. And they came to the camp and spent the night in the camp. Then Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. The seven priests, carrying the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, passed on, blowing the trumpets continually. The armed men went before them, and the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord, while the trumpets blew. On the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. On the seventh day they rose early, at dawn, and marched around the city in the same manner seven times. It was only on that day that they marched around the city seven times. 
At the seventh time, when the priests had blown the trumpets, Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all that is in it shall be devoted to the Lord for destruction. Only Rahab the prostitute and all who are with her in her house shall live, because she hid the messengers we sent. As for you, keep away from the things devoted to destruction, so as not to cover it and take away the devoted things and make camp of it and make the camp of Israel an object for destruction, bringing trouble upon it. But all the gold and silver, all and the vessels of bronze and iron, are sacred to the Lord. They shall go up to the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted, and the trumpets were blown. As soon as the people heard the sound of the trumpets, they raised a great shout, and the wall fell down flat. So the people charged straight ahead into the city and captured it. This passage shows us how oh God had a plan to capture the city. The walls, the mighty walls, could not stand against him. In our time too, there are mighty walls that to keep out the message of the gospel. Walls set up by secular authorities, walls set up by kingdoms, walls in people's lives. But as we pray and seek the Lord and use his methods, then the Lord brings down the wall in front of us. Luke 10 and verses 17 to 24. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watch Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At the same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son and anyone whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but do not see it, and to hear what you hear, but do not hear it. I give you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will hurt you. Nothing can hold back the gospel. God has given us power over all the power of the enemy. Lord, we pray that this day, in all that we do, we may live in the power of your Spirit and work in your might. Lord, we pray that uh, you will bless us, that we may be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.